All right, we're back. We kill that bronze demon thing. And I'm pretty sure this is just a constantly a regenerating pool of nastiness. So the temptation would be to chuck traps in there and make a whole lot of experience points. So let's just start doing that because... rather well, didn't it? How much? Oh, hello there. Look, I understand you're upset. Like one arrow will do it. And then we drop into stealth here. And get the other one. 400 experience points. Not really what I... Which now begs the question, what's going to spawn here now? Maybe I have to... Maybe that's how we finish this puzzle, actually. Because it's different things being spawned each time. Fire Salamander. Let's check a weapon there. And I think I'll chuck a slow as well. Crazy. Excellent. Now, what arrows do we have? Cheap and nasty. Tons of piercing arrows. Let's just burn through some of these and see how we go. Weapon ineffective. Okay, then. And they're slowed. Speed this along a little bit. One of them just broke out. Oh, hello. Let's uh, let's also grease this battlefield. <laughs> let's see him get out of that. Probably overkill, but you know we're having fun here. I think that's time for some lightning. Let's get our lightning protection up. We don't. Let's just spread our fire a bit. Lightning, and now it's giving the old zappy zappy. My favorite thing, it really is. It's not shutting down though, is it? Maybe if we keep put on our ring, which we already have on, we are fire resistant, I believe. Or half. Oh, no full. Let's um, rock in there and try and oh, activate whatever this is. is. No, we can't turn it off. Well, I think we... I don't know, there's more there. Um, let's just go lightning again. Okay, well, we'll keep wandering on. We're doing quite well for experience points, aren't we? I didn't realise um, there'd be quite so much experience in, um, in Dragon Spear, but we're doing very well. I want to get rid of these guys, actually. Can I pick the lock? Like, okay, so okay, a, a mechanism to the northwest of your current location. Northwest of my current location. Any of these pillars? Oh, what am I missing? It's to the northwest. Oh, here we go. This guy. Oh, yes, we need to find the correct scepter. Okay. So here's where that bronze guy was. That's totally trapped, so, you know. Let's just have a little looky. Oh, 
Come on, someone's trapped that. Maybe not. Ooh, drowned in blood. This is gonna go well, isn't it? Oh, there's more stuff in there as well. I think we're going to chuck lightning in there. Actually, let's see how we go with traps, because a lot of that stuff will actually be quite vulnerable. Some of it won't, some of it will. Lots of resistances. Actually, most of it seemed to be resisted. But the, the white took some, some proper damage, which is good. A simple task. Closing on us. Yep, there's something coming. A bone bat's going to just come and rip out all our traps. <laughs> Time for a bit of the roof and tumble. Bone bats are the worst, man. Whoa. Okay, we can really give ourselves a shield spell. Another bone bat. We need to give ourselves... We've got stone skin up. We can fight it. And I think we'll blur as well. Nah, we'll just fight it then. Armor class is like minus six, but do we not have any mirror images? Okay. That's good. I was worried that the that white would rob our strength, but drowned in blood. I'm just curious as to what these guys do. Let's see if we can get them with arrows. Resisted. Magical weapons? Magical effects? Oh, sh a shadow. That's going to rob our strength. That's no good. Let's break away. Oh, yeah. Archers. Great. I thought it was gold, but it was bronze. This guy. <laughs> Time for a bit of the roof and tumble. There it is. And that. Move, move, move. No, 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 take a hit. Maybe an arrow will finish it off. Oof. 3,000 experience points. We are plowing through the levels. This is really good. An imbued white. <laughs> Time for a bit of the roof and tumble. Get some more arrows, shortly. Magic missile me, won't you? So our arrows are rapidly depleting. Yeah, I'll put 80 in here. These guys are really handy too for later on. Oh, this opened. Ghasts and zombies and whatnot. Well, lightning will probably do well in there. Let's zap that way and it might bounce around a bit. Or oh, the greater ghast is the main, uh, is the main threat. The greater ghast. Bloody bone bats. Mirror. Oh, is a skeletal, skeletal mage coming? Take him out, man. No. You gotta know when to run. That's right. I'm not gonna task. sing that song. So the bone bat has me. 
Does the shadow have me? I think it does. Oh, we're actually being pushed right back to the start, aren't we? We're running a bit low on options here. I think we might need to cast this. Let's see if I can just drag this guy out of it. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Skeleton archer. That's fine. We'll close and engage directly. Probably a bit of overkill, really, but we're kind of being pushed onto the back foot. Wraith. Break, break, break. Can we get out? Yes, we did. Just in time. In fact, the Wraith is the primary threat. But the Wraith we can hit with arrows, so that's good to know. little force coming to us, aren't they? No, nah, break. That shadow is really fast. So when you've got a fast enemy, lots of movement really separates him from his friends. No magic missiles remaining. I don't really want to fight this thing one-to-one, -one, because it'll take my strength off me. And there's nowhere to run to, nowhere to hide. Maybe around here would work. Okay, we're stealth. Let's see what can track us. The bone bats can. It's just the bone bats. Which is good for us, because we can just focus on them now. That's a wraith. Oh, I don't think it'll work, but I'll try. The bone bat is blinded. Now that's a... Tongue twister. Break away. Get moving. Jeez, there's so much going on here. Run, 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 run. And hide. Oh yeah, just fail those hide checks. It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? See, these arrows are great. They do standard arrow damage and then they also... Oh, we've got a trap here. Brilliant. And we managed to sneak. Also really good. Ignore the zombies. See if we can't take out one of these wraiths. Okay, archers, yep. Shadow. Eat an arrow. Okay, that's good. Zombies, I'm happy to fight one to one. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. The arrows of pierce. Oh, we've got wraiths on us. One level drained. Come on. A stealth enemy that will... Oh, we can't use that, can we? A stealth enemy which level drains us. See, this is... I don't like how this happens. I'm not sure if we're getting these levels back properly. That's going to break through our stone skins really quick. So, let's hop back here. And see if these of clerics course. can regenerate <laughs> us. Can restore us. Again, the classic tradition of you find a whole force of powerful clerics and, you know, they're just going to sit here and let us handle it all. Yeah, do you have... You've returned. What did you find? Any sign of Gern Goldhard? I need a swig or something. We have to go all the way back to the camp. Yeah, okay. We're going to run back to the camp and get ourselves re restored. Because fighting level done drained. And done. On one hand, the risk is that you. On one hand, the risk is that you. Sorry. Like, there's partly the risk where you're just less powerful, and for us that matters. Like, we lose spell slots by being level drained. Um, it also it seems to bug out our ring of wizardry, because it doesn't count properly. 
you know, we, we didn't earn like four spell slots last level, but also worry about it not counting our experience properly. So let's see if Sorrelus was out of mage. Okay. This guy just sells stuff, but what do you have? Scrolls and potions. No, I do want to buy some arrows actually. You can't really find a potion of restoration, although we have a scroll of restoration. 750. Really just need normal restoration. Greater restoration. Apparently I can use this. Um, odd. Let me just see if I can pay someone to do this instead, because that might be a better deal. Mm -hmm. No, this guy can't really help me. Miss Henna. What services do you offer? Here we go. Restore me. That's lesser restoration. So we can buy the better scroll and use that instead. I'll quick save to make sure I can use it. I didn't think we could, but... And restoration. Why is it charging me 150? Like 1500, sorry. I'm asking for just one. And it's like just boosting the price right up. It's all of our money. Okay. Don't mind me. Yeah, we will go for restoration. And we're fatigued, but we aren't little, we aren't little great anymore. Um, arrows. Yeah, this guy's prices are through the roof. Oh yeah, I forgot we had that. He's giving us a grand for the Sword of Troll Decapitation. Need the money. Hmm. Okay. We're still being charged to sleep here. Not paying a single gold piece just to sleep. Did we get all our spells back? Yeah, we did. Good. Let's start with the basics. Stone skin. I've got the sun flooding in through my windows. So actually, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing here. One turn per level. I'll wait until I'm a bit closer then. A okay. simple task. The amount of undead down here, what if we find at the end, is going to be pretty nasty. Don okay, we are going to buff here. Mirror imaged. That's a good spell. We should use that. We will later on. I think if there's a mage, I'm going to cast Spell Turning as well. That's three le rounds per level. Yeah, Fire Resistance. Lightning Resistance. And Spell Turning. Oh, that I don't like. That's how you die. All these things being hasted? No. We need to be really careful up ahead. Come on, sneak, sneak, sneak. I guess it is kind of hard to sneak while 
you're shimmering like that. There's the light. Beautiful. Hopefully we can get back to stealth again. Oh yeah, not liking any of this. Oh yeah, some bad things have happened here. Um. Whoa, look at all this. Not really sure what these drowned in bloods are, but they're staying stationary. Let's clear out whatever's moving through here, because there were items all, there were bad guys all through here before. that piercing damage isn't going to work well against that group, but it might work well here. So let's essentially use this as like a fireball. May not cast a spell when enemies are about. There's a wraith on this. Break line of sight. Oh, you know what we're going to do? Invisibility. We're going to find this target. Did that work? Yep. And now, we're going to ID this guy visually. Take him out. I should better break through his invisibility and backstab him. really tell where this guy is, is the problem. Uh, rather not waste that. Maybe he's walked up here, sometimes that happens. Would rather not waste this invisibility, but... You're all watching. You get in and just gently work out where this threat is. I'm going to have to close my curtains, so a bit longer for him to be tracked. Might be a sec. <clears throat> you know, perhaps the uh, perhaps the curtains being closed will help. Aiden spot our wraith friend. Okay. Well, that didn't work. I guess we'll just have to hope he's around and kill him with some kind of. Let's see if this works this time. Love it. So that's the skeletal undead will be will remain. Let's rock over here. Of fear. So chance we get caught in this. Wraith has has us tracked. Keep moving. Wraith, wraith, wraith. That's how you get level drained. We don't want that. If you're following me, the wraith's in here somewhere. I'm going to cast Burn in the Inferno. We hit it. We took him out. There we go. That's how you fight invisible enemies. I'm quite happy with how that worked out, actually. Burn bats. Cop that. Yeah, 
yet. Dual wielding all the way. Whoa! Stuff of nightmares, isn't it? Is he able to sight us? Fifty-seven damage, and it didn't destroy him. Tattered skeletons. Most of these guys have really, really high magic resistance too. So trying to magic missile them is just not going to work. But stealth works if we can find the breaks. If we can arm it undead, turn around. There we go. Another 1,000 experience points. I'm counting it down, people. Which level is it, actually? I think it's Mage. Yes. Good. He's going to spot us, isn't he? Yep. Never fight fair. Especially against something which has the word Armoured in its name. Gently, gently. was odd. He just teleported through the doorway. Lightning would work if needed, but stealth and smacking. So backstab. Remember in Neverwinter Nights making myself using the, the editor, which was awesome in that game. I made myself some arrows of like, hammer arrows, I called them, which had the ability to do bludgeoning damage against, well, through, through a bow. And they were brilliant. I'd love me some hammer arrows made by, I don't know, 15 year old Tempest. Let's see if I can get him ready. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Um, he didn't even see us. Tatters aren't too dangerous. Probably could fight this one directly. Yeah, come and get me. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of sick of this now. Get ahead of him and smack him. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Got him. We did check these, didn't we? Good. Okay. Have we cleared out this main chamber yet? As always, slow and careful. Ooh. Turn around the corner and there's a mummy there. In a really awkward spot. More of a fear. Save this wand. Ugh. We do not want to get scared off. In fact, that's going to make things harder here. Because that aura is still around him. Let's give it a second and see if it dissipates. Or well, maybe we just use our arrows. Let's use our arrows. Beautiful. Nah, resistance is a huge wraith. Oh, come on. You know what, you know what. And it's so annoying. At least the wraith is visible now, surely. There it is. So annoying. A stealth enemy which can level drain you. But that's okay. Problem is that's going to eventually get us if we're not careful. Our save versus wand is Hmm. Hmm. 
No, low chance of it getting us, but it could. This guy just bugged where he is. I think he might be. I'm not gonna waste arrows of piercing like that. Okay. What have we got up here? A ring and a robe. Dark red and green, green robes are of a simple dwarven design, but made with material of the highest quality and care. The sleeves and fringe end in gold trim, and the lining is a soft, luxurious silk, as is traditional for the dwarven noble to wear. Let's not put it on. That's going to be trapped as all hell. Staring at the smoke within these containers, you catch fleeting glimpses of faces, people, events long past, or yet to occur, so you imagine. It's not at all unsettling. We aren't really trap checking, are we? If I say and then immediately get s Ooh, what happened there? Dire charmed. <laughs> I love how I say, we're not really trap checking. Quick save and then immediately die. Keep looking for traps. Yeah, the AI automatically sneaks us, but, you know. There it is. A simple task. What can I kill this bat with quickly enough? Probably magic missile, really. Shadow Pact. Honestly, if it's going to kill the... Oh, look at that! The Shadowed Soul gave that Bone Bat its hit points again. That's super scary. You know what? Yeah, so... That's not very nice. What can we drop on the way out of here? Nothing really. We'll try and web them in here, actually. I went through a doorway, come on. They're really getting webs, I think. Oh, they are. Brilliant. Well, we got our ring on, don't we? Let's make sure we do. Have some lightning. Lightning's still up. Get rid of the bone bat. Oh, look at that beautiful stack there. Zap. <laughs> I can't cast anything else, can I? Zap. Zap. Oh. Did we get the... Shadowed Soul, we didn't. That Shadowed Soul must be killed. That's him there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we got him. And a slow spell. Excellent. Honestly, we just zap him again. We are burning through our lightning scroll. Jeez, you're right on me, aren't you? That was a bit spooky. Do I have any other ones? Like ones of fire and things? How many lightning ones do I have? Because I am really burning through that. Yeah, it's not really good of me to do. I might just burn off this here. See if that's any good. Right, didn't it? Right, let's kill this bladed skeleton. Oh, bloody bone bats. Slowed. Yeah. Oh, there goes our web. Which means we got one more move here. 
fire resistance is up. Yep, it'll probably even almost heal us. Love it. Love your work. And we are slowed. Come on, be sneaky. Sneak, 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 sneak. That I just consistently keep moving is such a good defense. Got him. Ah, these guys, we've got to hit them up close. Drowned in blood. They look kind of like maybe they're from Icewind Dale. It's the Icewind Dale compared to Baldur's Gate. Very different aesthetics. Like a same engine, but just. I'm probably going to have to play Icewind Dale, I reckon, solo. Be a different kind of challenge. One I'm very keen to do. Just miss, huh? I guess that was always an option. I'm sassy, aren't I? Uh, necromancy spells probably won't work, but let's try it. No. get ahead of him. I can probably oh no there's traps all up through here. Let's not. Let's um we probably just fight him one to one to be honest. Let's see if he comes back this way. I might be able to get ahead of him. And then break stealth anyway. There we go. Alright let's just try. No that that's a new sprite. I've never seen that one before. Fast attacking. It's burning through our yeah, let's do stealth attacks anyway. It's burning through our, our stone skin. Let's see if I can trap, get ahead of him and trap him. Because then he'll turn his back. <laughs> Time for a bit of a roof and tumble. Come on, just smack him. Good work. such an annoying ability to it hurts because it you know it's your progress it's like i mean am i actually getting this, these excess xp saved up or is it actually coming down the pipes sorry about this i'm gonna run back and just quickly ensure that we are still getting our xp i've half a mind to just go and buy all those scrolls of restoration just so i can keep going won't be long and these guys not restoring me i mean come on I'm surprised this guy. You've returned. What did you find? Yeah, no. Nah. Any sign again? Gold we'll just wait here while the halfling goes and Dawn does the job. And Dawn. I wonder how dwarves relate to halflings. Okay, get ourselves restored. Thank you, Miss Henna. No, no, we are. Our, at least our XP is being counted, so so that's good. <coughs> Pardon me. I was trying to avoid a single cough for this whole episode. Much of recovering from. It's not nothing nasty. It's not the spicy cough. It's something else I had. Okay, we need to rest actually. So let's rest well, out course. here, <laughs> yeah. where the odds of being ambushed are, while never zero, low. Bandit archers. Yeah, how do you find that, huh? So I kicked him in the head till he was kicked him in the head till he was dead. So I kicked him in the head till he was dead. I kicked him in the head till he was dead. Oh man. I'll need to be resting soon. All right, that was a blast from the past, wasn't it? Done and done. Might find ourselves being able to use that. Put you away, put you away, put you back on. So when I sleep, I get my spell slots back. What are we not using? So we only really need the one stone skin, it seems. 
mm, we aren't using the sequencer at all. Like I just never get around to it, but I probably will now that I've noticed it and I'm resting. These horror and blind spells aren't really being used. We may as well just pack a few more magic missiles. Although we can blind the um, the bone bat, can't we? Literally blind as a bat. And rest. Dire wolves. Hello there. Oh, we started stealth then. Fatigued too, which is not good. Really attacks it. Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Only 175 experience points. We fought so many of these. A simple task. Right, so we can break off and sneak and take him out the smart way. Sometimes it's faster, you know. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and yeah. tumble. Okay, let's head back to base and sleep there. We seem to be able to just nap in here. I'm not sure if it's coded that way, but even if we do get ambushed, I guess these guys will have fun attacking whatever's here. Beautiful. Okay. I'm determined to push a bit further deeper into the, into this little dungeon before the end of, end of the episode. I want to really find out what's going on. Seem to have found the lab where the... Um, well, we've found a task. lab, haven't we? So we can find out. We're looking for someone again, aren't we? Cold Hearth. Great name. Although a hearth is anything but cold, so... And spirit armor, yes please. And just like that, we've got an armor class in the minus three area. Simple task. Very good. And we're immune to the first few hits. So I think playing a, like a solo fighter would be, by this point, pretty difficult. I'm going to just do a quick trap check throughout here. So, there's, there's stuff going on in this room. Containers. Twisted, mangled creatures float inside all of these glass tubes. All are dead. Oh. oh. A sickly coloured smoke writhes and capers behind this strange container's dust-covered glass. I don't like this. It's like cables leading from them. Oh, I do not like that at all. Yeah, bad things happen to good people and creatures here. Apparently there's no traps here. Well, no. Glad I took a moment to consider that one. Essence of Clarity. The alchemical skill on display inside this glass vial is near stunning in its accomplishment. The contents are nothing less than pure perception, distilled through unknown, but all, all but unimaginable processes, into fluid form. Consuming this potion would destroy any mortal mind. Whoa. Notes on failed experiment. And failed. Failed phylactery. Yeah, we're, deal we're dealing with a lich here. Oh, man. Okay. Made of gold-coloured lumpy material, the sides of this box are so uneven that its top cannot fully close. Melted down, it may be of some value. As a container, it is worthless. Several sheets of parchment are covered in notations written by a steady, methodical hand. Much of the writing is faded beyond legibility, or consists of arcane equations beyond your understanding, because we're only, like, level 12. A few lines appear near the bottom of the pile. However, can be this can be deciphered. Though the gold alloy proved more difficult to work than anticipated, I remain convinced that, once it is rendered sufficiently malleable, it will be an ideal substance from which to construct a phylactery. The, the heat of the elemental plane of fire should render the material more pliant. I will use this, the portal to access the Searing Inferno shortly. First, I must scry a suitably private location there in which to do my work. Yep. 
Okay, well we take this, put that, put this one away and now. Okay, this goes down to the plane of fire. Cool. This is good too. Yeah, more modern role playing games have more of this sort of subtle world building stuff. Another one of these. It's the same potion, isn't it? Essence of Clarity. Which we can't put in any container. Really? Well, let's, let's see what happens if we drink it. Which we can't. Okay, well, let's clear the decks a bit. A chest lock. We have our required episodic loud car go past. Okay, let's go see if there's anything at the uh, plane of fire. And if there is, we'll just kind of... Yep. Whoa. Do we have our fire resistance? Let's not go to the plane of fire without it. I think we're going to web them as well. My phone just lit up with a phone call. It's a spam caller. Wish I could cast the web spell on them. Or worse. Okay, since we've got ourselves a couple of these guys, I first want to do this. Magic radiates from the circle inscribed on the stone floor. It sparks and crackles. Seemingly... How do I use this? On the ground, maybe. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. And they just all. For a bit of the rough and tumble. And then we're held. I could have put down two, couldn't I? Lost our fire, lost our web. Let's do the wild thing. Do, 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 do. Deal with you. Got him. One good reason to play a um, Dragon Disciple is that huge innate fire resistance. You cast that fire magic, that, that fire resistance spell we have, and then you get over 100%, and you're just healing. I mean, drop a fireball at your feet, and you're healing. Oh my god. It's trying to get us to. Maybe I leave it in the middle, and the fire kind of just cooks this. Let's web. Got him. Just drop, drop it on the ground so that cooks it. Focus on the ones who are held, you'll hit them every time. Good lord. I guess I could. No. We're going to cast one more of these in here, I think. Make sure we just... Okay, let's just focus on what we've got here. I mean, yeah, it's just more experience points. But far out. Can we 
drop this. What does it say here? In the note it said something else, didn't it? The heat of the plane of fire should rend render the material more pliant. I will use the portal to access the Searing Inferno, sh Inferno shortly. Okay. We're in the right spot, but I think this is actually what we're supposed to be doing. There's so much here, we actually can't damage it fast enough. You know what? I know, it's a bit of a waste, but... Oh, no, wait, 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 no lightning resistance, don't do that. Dumb ways to die. Okay, I think our first web just wore off. Let's put another one down. Okay, now this isn't going to work. We're here that sound effect's really annoying i might just drop it down to lower so it's not so annoying for you guys Oh yeah, that's all breaking off now. That's no good. Okay, let's drop the ring and run. Maybe check a trap behind us. And then a normal trap here. Constantly generating, I mean, a constantly regenerating enemy would be great for making experience points. We could just sit here and do this, but we are burning resources doing it. Oh man! Eat an arrow. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Okay, 2,000 experience points. Yeah, okay, I'll be careful because the temptation now is to just do nothing else, really. Did I hold the heat in? There's a thought. Magic radios. This is not really helping, is it? Okay, well, let's rock on out of here. Close the door behind us. And uh, we'll keep pressing on. We're learning a bit more. I mean, I could, I could always just look up the wiki, but then that's not really fun for anybody. Oh, there's something over here, isn't there? Scepter of... Sil Silver Scepter. Hmm... Not like using scrolls without knowing what they are. Vampiric touch. Apparently, if you have party members and you're playing on insane, because party members take double damage, this will drain double the damage from them and boost yours. So you can kind of do what these undead are doing. 
and boost your mage's health right up with this. So yes, yeah, the scepter. We know where that goes. Oh yeah, let's totally just... That's not a trap. Elaborate. This elaborate metal throne remains an impressive sight, despite the state of disrepair it's been left in after years of neglect. What have we got here to... Oh, look at this. Concealed in the chair's left arm is an intricately carved wooden lever. The mechanism it connects to is old, but well made. It likely still functions. A blue mist rises from the depths of the earth, bringing with it the stench of magic and decay. Gazing into the mists makes your head throb, but the sensation passes once you look away. Oh, I got some. I'm going to say it's a bad idea to do this, but let's just see what happens. You pull the lever in the chair's arm and hear the sound of ancient gears grinding together. Traces of dust fall from the ceiling as the groan of moving metal echoes throughout the complex. You have done something. Nothing more terrifying than when the DM says, yes, something happens. Now open that door then. That's cool. Let's um, put the scepter in. Only one slot remains unfilled. Let's go in and clear out these. Oh, that's a trap. That's a trap right there. Oh, look at all this. Let's, um... Surely, that something happened here. Arrows. Oh, what are these? Arrows of anti-magic. The, the target suffers a cumulative, non-cumulative, 50% chance of spellcasting failure. So the arrow does almost no damage, but... It, oh. This is an arrow whose head has been enchanted with the same energy used in an anti-magic field spell. It is said that the wizard who perfected the creation of these arrows was later hunted down and murdered by his own peers. Very few wizards in Ferrum know how to create these arrows, and they seldom reveal this knowledge for fear of retribution from other, wi other wizards. That would be pretty damn cool, actually. We'll keep them. For shutting down a mage, that would be... Hmm. The risk, of course, is that we will get affected by the same thing. Mm -hmm. Never really used glitter dust, but you know. Hey, hey. Mm. Yes, the uh, shield spell gives us a bit of a armor class bonus against ranged attacks. Oh, look at that. Restoration scroll. I still reckon there's something here. Like, surely. A cavity around the building's entrance has been dug into the dirt and rock piled over it. But there is little hope of escaping the site from here. What do we think? Traps or monsters? I think traps. Oh, it's like a coffin. What had happened if we just walked over and opened it? A quarter staff of something interesting. The Uncursed Staff. Decades ago, an adventuring priest of Gond discovered a cursed staff in a dungeon. Despite its curse, the staff was well crafted and a fine looking weapon and the priest sought a way to lift the curse. Though he was never able to do so, he was able to add an enchantment to the staff, mostly negating its cursed properties, and allowing him to carry it and put it away as desired. Though the staff was little better than a regular weapon, the priest carried it for the rest of his days, as it boosted his ability to carry treasure out of subsequent dungeons. Oh, that's quite cool. So it, it's, it's cursed to give you minus two taco like Thacko, and minus two damage, but the strength bonus, should you be already pretty weak, would probably help. Probably crap, but you know, we'll keep that anyway, we'll sell it. Love the idea of it, though. I'm trying to think what Gond is the god of. I want to say it's like the god of potentially... Mistra is the... Oh, sorry, Timora is the god of luck. Mistra is the god of magic. I think the Gond is the god of, like, thieves or something. Scepter. Who 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wand of Fear. We don't really use that one, do we? I'm guessing we only really need one of these, so I'm going to drop this. And if I'm wrong, well, it's a quest item, so we'll probably be able to find it. The fact that I can't put it away is a problem. I'll keep it for the moment. Breach. Actually, have we had Breach yet? Breach is excellent. So, uh, there's a great video by Core Dumped Gaming on how to defeat SCS mages. And it talks through, basically, the complication of fighting mages. Essentially, we use spells like Spell Strike and um, Kelvin's Warding Whip and Ruby Ray Reversal to break through spell defenses. So spell defenses are things which, which mean your spells don't go through. But then there are combat defenses, and this is what Breach is for. The Breach takes down basically everything. So long as you can get through spell defenses, this is what you follow up with, and you can then hit your enemies. So Stone Skin, Immunity, all this stuff. I mean, it breaks basically everything. And it bypasses... Magic resistance. The only thing it doesn't bypass is being a level 5 spell. It doesn't get past liches, which are immune to spells below a certain point. And I think there's also... Oh, R Rakshasa, who are immune to spells below level 8. So... Or including level 8, so below level 9. Do we just pick up a scroll of monster summoning 1? We could actually use it now, because it was one of the mods that was making that crash the game before. Let's check out this spot in here. I think we cleared out most of the undead in here, didn't we? Um, let us see. Let us go then you and I, while the evening is against the sky. Like a patient etherized on a table. Uh, do we just kind of like line up these cues with those ones? Is that, th that is blood, isn't it? A brass plate etched with a snowflake design is set into... It's cold to touch. An audible click echoes. An image of a shining sun. Oh, hello there. It's not me, really. I didn't do anything. I wonder what would happen if I just went in and fought them straight out, but that's not our way, is it? Let's at least slow them first. And I'm pretty sure... Did he even see us? Have I got my ring on? I don't. This is how Tempest dies. So these guys are doubly slowed. Because they're slow too, we have such bonuses now in combat against them. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. If nothing else, having one character means you just use one buff. If you have one ring of free action, your entire party is immune to to being held and slowed. It's very easy to have your party immune to certain things, and now we can't quick save. Did that work? A leaf etched upon a brass plate. Yes. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Are 
is lightning. Oh, do we have immunity to lightning? We don't, which means we're going to run skis and go and cast it. Because we've seen lightning. It's only a little bit of damage each one of those. It was only a small lightning spell, but all the same. You could have really read the thing and said, Fragmenting Leaf. Cracked and Fragmenting Leaf does not really say lightning to me, but anyway, of course. <laughs> you should be able to go and fight these things. Oh, they're all splitting up. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Getting closer. 28,000 remaining. Or was it two? Yeah, 28,000. Hello there. We're at a level two where we've got enough stone skins to actually. <laughs> Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Keeping a rough eye on the time. I better finish up soon. Once we've killed this guy, maybe. Don't we just burn through our spells, though? I guess that's the one thing. You know, doing two mages means you have oh, twice the spell book. Let's um, press the right button. Okay, is it this one over here? Tells you the mechanisms have been reset. Oh, well. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Oh, I'll just fight through it. All right, won't take us too long. We've got a spare stone skin. <laughs> Time for a bit of the roof and tumble. A lot of enemies hitting us. That's it. Stone skin. More than I'm comfortable with, actually. So let's just do some clever, clever work here. Stealth, 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 please. Thank you. So now if I can find the mass together. So we know... I wonder if I can interact... So it's this one. That's one. So it's this guy first. This guy... I think it's this one over here next. Ah, I made that a lot worse for myself, didn't I? And what type are these? Earth, so we can probably use a fire spell here. <laughs> so it's this guy. Did it reset, do we think? Oh, yeah, just let you keep typing. Yes, it reset. So, three... Any indication of which one goes first? Have we seen this pattern anywhere? Have we got a wand to speed this up? Or we're going to have to just fight it out. I'm going to run away. Yeah, that doorway would have a clue in it. I mean, I can just, by process of elimination, work out what the order is. But, you know, it's not really how it's supposed to work, is it? Just die. Two of them have found me. Yeah, but two is better than like the five or six we were fighting before. Let's try this doorway, see if we can work out a clue. It starts here. Potentially it's that one. Yeah, let's just find out. Let's do the let's do the actual work of the puzzle. Although we are getting rewarded with XP for fighting each group. So you know, there is that. Locked. I'm guessing that actually this opens that door. Um, is it in a note we picked up? Uh, no. Let 
Nothing here to indicate which one to do first or second. Probably have found the clue and I've just missed it. So if you're probably staring at your screen going, come on. So Snowflake first. I'm going to just brute force it using quick saves because I don't want to waste your time much more than I have already. So it's not that one. A simple task. It's not that one. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. That worked well. So one, two. 50% chance we get it right now. Problem is, every time I've triggered the wrong one, I haven't really read what's happened. I've just gone and fought. So it's not that one, it's the one. Oops, okay, already pressed. One, and two, three, four. Okay, fight him. Didn't get any experience points for solving the puzzle. Did you notice that? Hmm. I'm thinking we might need to be careful. These sort of chambers is where you find, like... Just reminds me of different golem chambers from the second game. That's not good. That's not good at all. I really want to rest. Let's see if I can get a sleep in around this corner where no one will find me. Come on. Okay, I guess death is just inevitable down here. A simple Let's task. roll back to the mouth of the cave mouth. A simple okay. task. It's a bit of a grind, this one, isn't it? But I mean, it's exactly the kind of enemy we struggle the most with. Can you give you us returned. a little sleep? What did you find? Any sign of Gernon Coldheart? Okay. Run all the way back. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. Here's a question. Do you think if you possessed the boots of speed, you would be fit from... Like, does it improve your exertion or reduce it? It's questions like this that keep me up all night. Okay, let's rock on back. Got all our spells back. It's, of course, the major advantage of being able to play a sorcerer is just you get the flexibility in your spellbook. A simple task. I mean, the only other time I've finished the game solo... Oh, no, I did a cleric mage and I've done a sorcerer. So I've always had some magic with me. Dawn and... But I still reckon this is going to be the most exciting way to play. Because with those builds, if you couldn't cast spells for whatever reason, you were kind of cactus. Whereas, if you... I think I'm going to... Dawn and walk forward Dawn. until something almost sees me, and then I'm going to web that whole section. Three, four, five, six... Magic resistance. And do we think... I think I'll use some fire resistance because I'm going to cook them with a wand. Uh, I might even use the... Where are you? Here you go. Let me get rid of this. Luckily we don't lose our spells, but you know. Or maybe I shouldn't, because this... No, maybe I should. Pop. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, we're dead. Okay, this is why we've got to always make sure we put on the... Uh, Put on the ring if we're going to use that spell. Oh my god, that was messy. Done and done. Uh, 
actually, better idea. Let's bottle them right up here. Hello there. Yes, you saw, you saw me, didn't you? Yes, it is I, Tempest, Aiden. There are those who call me... Now, we can limit how many we have to fight at once. Better the roof and we tumble. Gun, didn't we? Yes, we did. So not only are they held, but they get bottled up behind here anyway. Let's slow them too, because that's always fun. Oh, I took a hit then. Slashing it means our stone skin has failed. Let's pull back a bit. Oh, I took some nasty hits. As you can see, if it if we get hits through. Come on. Skeleton warriors. These, these are the real bad boys. They're still pretty punchy, that's the problem. Let's get in the middle here and cast this bad boy. With, what did we kill? Like, basically everything? That was pretty decent, actually. Although certain things are unaffected. These skeleton warriors need to be taken out manually. But while I've got them all here, I think we are going to try and kill that shadowed soul. And once again, we'll flame them all. Well, that is nicely... Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's get ourselves out of here. Yeah, these skeleton warriors are basically immune to the... Got him. <laughs> okay. We have cut down most of the threat, which is good. We can get rid of the ring. We don't have our stone skin anymore. So shadow warriors are really nasty. They're pretty much fully immune to magic. So they're a great summon for us later on. We think we've already used a lesser version of them, but these are the these are the real deal. Solution here. Let's see if that even works. Did that work? That's some serious aid and nah, it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> I thought it might work. Hit him pretty hard. Just love that idea. This little, this little hobbit guy. Just <laughs> time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Not gonna work. Oh yeah, there he is. So we have to use weapons to defeat that, which means a lot of sneaking, stealthing. Come on. Okay, we're stealth. That's good. Three, two. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and really tumble. Hard. Yeah, so their big vulnerability, of course, is, is bludgeoning attacks. So as long as you can get something, like they're a great summon. I think I'm pretty sure a, a skeleton warrior can basically solo a, a beholder, which is terrifying when you think of it. I'm learning how to land backstabs on moving targets. It's a, sort of one of those things where you want to sort of stall them and then get them to walk past you like... Oh, no, no just burk it up. Let's try again. We'll be here for a little while, which is the story of this entire series, really. <laughs> Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Got him. Skeleton Warrior. This is the undamaged one. Miss. Our health is pretty low. We're actually not far off getting like one hit. So we might. Oh crap. Hello there. Let 
that's... Got him. 62 damage. Beautiful. And 4,000 experience points too. Oh, 17,000. We're almost there. If we can survive this battle... Yeah, I wonder how a solo fighter run would be. I know people who've done them. A simple task. It's possible. I certainly, the first game and the second game before it's, um, I know getting as far as Shadow of Arm, so the second game, pardon me, second game is possible. But I think Throne of Baal throws some pretty serious threats towards you. Sort of find too, after a while, that, like, Sh Shadow of Arm has really nasty mage encounters, and so does the start of Throne of Baal, but then it actually just becomes these bruiser fights with enemies with ridiculous armor class and... and, um... I'm not sure how, how a fighter really gets through that. Particularly how a monk gets through that. Yeah, we're just not going to try and fight this thing one-to-one. -one. It's going to end badly if we do. If we just stand still, this would take half as long. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. Bail. It's all about timing. Let you get around behind this guy. Let's go here. And three, two, one. Oh no, that, that was almost a backstab. Like, it hit, this guy could probably just about one hit us if he's not on a critical, certainly. And the speed of attacks. You saw how fast it was that those guys were getting through our, um... We're getting through our, um, stone skins. So we've got to honour the, honor the threat. Again, in my ongoing... Ongoing trick of um, using flight sim terminology in a role playing game. Jeez, nine damage at a time. Be really good if we could just drop this. Yeah, so this is a great summon right through the you know, to the end of the end of the of Baldur's Gate, the Skeleton Warrior. It's a pretty low level spell. Break. Gee, that nearly got us. How are we for armor class 1? Have we got any way we can boost that? Yeah, we do. In fact, we're not even running our normal. Let's do that. Let's let's run with our proper buffs. How long is this to cast, though? Okay, now our armor class is minus 3. I'm very happy with that. That way, if we do get caught by one attack, it's not going to be the end of it, you know? Let's try and get ahead of this guy. Three, two... And I'm sorry this is tiresome, but we can't magic missile this guy. It just won't work. And we can't use the traps either. He's undead and has massive piercing damage resistance. One critical and it will all be over. One backstab and it will all be over. And where are we? Yeah. He's kind of the perfect enemy for us. We can't use our spells or traps, so it's all down to our martial ability, which, as we've established, is never great. Alright, I'm not going to try and backstab him, I'm just going to just land a hit as fast as possible. But I am going to be doing it through stealth, so we don't take damage we don't need to. Hey, got him! The moment I stop trying to backstab, I land one. 4,000 experience points. 15,000 remaining. 
Okay, let's check out this room. Did we clear everything? I think we did. Well, we'll find out soon if we didn't. I think that's a big note for traps right through here. Again, pools of blood. Looking into this pool of blood, your gaze finds that a sinis finds that of a sinister figure. For a brief moment, you realize you are staring at yourself, reflected upon the pool's glistening surface. They recognize the reflection for what it is. It seems unfamiliar and alien. A stranger with your face. That is deeply unsettling. Love the artwork here too. I reckon I'm going to just check one last time for things. Look at this too. Oh god. That's a lich. That's a dwarf. It is over, Cold Hearth. You have survived the transformation. Keep your flattery secure, and your unlife will be long. Cold Hearth Lich, oh no. Long and prosperous, Abathor be praised. You freed me from the Overmind, and in turn I gave you what you desired. Our business is done. Beware, my former master. Should he learn of your existence, he will take you as he did me. Aye, aye, I know. The Shadow King won't hear a peep from me. <laughs> Fare thee well, Cold Hearth. We shall not meet again. Can we sneak out quietly? I hope we can. We can talk to him. Uh, who are you? Oh, oh, I can't really How read did you that. come to this place? Yeah. Who are you now? How did you come to this place? Um, hmm, it's a long story, a story that ends in a pitched battle with a dwarven lich. <laughs> I am Aiden, brother Ochlin Deepvane sent me to find his friend, Gurn Coldhearth. Did he now? <laughs> Did he indeed? <laughs> wow, he's really taking on the evil thing, isn't he? I am Coldhearth, but I think Ochlin would not be so eager to see me now. He won't see you, friend. Gurn Coldhearth is dead. Whatever, whatever shadow of him remains in this world will be dispatched at my hand. Hmm. He was very insistent that I return you to his side, regardless of your condition. Auckland Deepvane, Auckland Deepvane is a fool. Is a, fool. A, few a few simple illusions, some well-chosen words well of encouragement, words and he was convinced Wretched Domathoin had blessed him with a vision of glory. Oh, the, the veins of gold, all illusions of the sky. He never could see things he as they truly are, and he'll, never, and he'll not see me again. But he may yet see you, if you would do me a service. The disciples of the secret gleam carried with them a relic in five parts, the amulets of the keeper of secrets under the mountain. We have a couple of those already, don't we? I am kind to those who do me a kindness, generous to those who serve my needs. He just became a lich. Bring the five keepers' amulets to me, and I shall bestow upon you an item of great power. What say you? An item of great mm. power. What say you? An intriguing proposition. Give me time to consider it. Take what time you need. It's one of many things I now have in abundance. The stone pedestal has been erected. A, a stone pedestal has been erected in the center of the chamber. What appears to be fresh blood fills a circular groove surrounding the pedestal. You've got these little towers around it. Okay, so we have a lich, and he's not directly hostile straight away, so... And I don't really, really want to fight him until we have we have his phylactery known. So just to say again, a lich pours his mortal soul into a physical item to avoid it being damaged. But let's go back and talk to the, to the priests here. Look, we uh, found your friend, but he's a lich. 
Brother Deep Vein. You've returned. What did you find? You've returned. What did you find? Any sign of Garen Coldhearth? More than a sign. I saw him as he was transformed into a lich. Coldhearth? A lich? Oh, you lie. You lying liar. You... May the gods strike me down if I am. The gold hearth is no friend of yours. He came here to be transformed into a lich and he succeeded. Dumatoy and take my eyes if you're not telling it true. Cold hearth betrayed me. Physically, spiritually, emotionally, you're in no condition to face what your friend has become. Stay here. I will deal with him. Lich happens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Lich happens. You've got to help me. Though he, though he betrayed me and mine, I can't fight Cold Hearth. He, he was my oldest friend. I had not seen friend slay friend either under such dark circumstances as these. Stay here, I'll deal with him. I mean, to be fair, three is kind of where I'd probably go. If you don't want to fight him, why should I? But Lich's... Liches are both very evil and filled with sweet, sweet experience points. Hmm. Let's role play. What does three do? Move on, he says. Oh, I'll move on, all right. I got me strength back. I'll move on into the caves and whatever beyond. And Cold Hearth will face Deep, Deep Vein's vengeance. If you're not willing to help, be gone. I need to rest and gather me strength for the coming battle. And your face bugs me. All right, now we'll do it. What did you find? Oh, we just get the whole chat Any again, sign do again, cold heart. I'll deal with him. I'm not strong enough to face him as a mortal. Never mind an undead. You, though, you might be able to take him. Especially with this. We call it the secret revealed. Its light blains and burns all creatures of unlife. That would have been useful for a while. It may help you defeat the lich, but use it sparingly. It'll no last long. If, you fa if it fails you... Bring it back. I may be able to make it work again once or twice before the secret power is lost. Now go. Find Cold Hearth and lay the traitor low before he gets what he seeks. Secret. Revealed. 4d8 magic of damage versus undead. Weakens liches, leaving them more susceptible to attack. Alright. Well, that's a good time to make a cut. I think we're going to rock on back here. Here's a question. Can we pickpocket those... I think we can. If we can pickpocket the little charm, then give them to the lich. Let's see if that works. Fail. A simple task. And then I'll... Pickpocket succeeded. Hey, my little ferrety friend. A what have you? Task. First I'll pet you, and then... I'll give you this. We got a wand. A wand of heavens. Kind of cool. Um, we didn't get the Dawn. necklace though, did we? Pretty sure if my ferret just kind of like stole something off you, I could bluff it off. Oh, sorry. He does that sometimes, you know. Oh, actually, um, I had a look at the, um, at the rogue rebalancing mod. Potion of Fire Breath. I'll make good use of that. Or forget about it. It seems that we're not really, we're not really going to be able to pick up these... Um, these... Uh, these necklaces. Which is a pity. Hmm. Alright. Wait the cut here. We'll have a quick rest. Um, I'm trying to think what spells you would use against a lich. Dawn and Dawn. I mean, obviously, that one. Secret reveal. Let's have a quick read of this before we finish up. The green, this green gemstone glows with the power of Dumathoin, the keeper of secrets beneath the mountain. Its divine power exacts a heavy price on undead, especially liches. 4d8 damage and weakens liches, leaving them no, leaving them more susceptible to attack. This is good because like a lich is a pretty serious and difficult target, even like in Baldur's Gate 2 with a full party, let alone on our own. So. Quick review of spells. Sunfire, lightning, spell turning. We want all of this. I'm hoping that these will actually even work. We may find ourselves in a situation where none of our uh, offensive spells work, so it's all going to be buffs. Secret word breaks through spell defenses. That's going to be more important than one of these stone skins. 
Uh, breach. I don't think we can. Did we get breach? I'm sure we learned breach, didn't we? Breach is level 5. My experience is that breach does not work on liches. It's like one of the few things I can remember. Although they might have changed that this time. Mm. We have the arrows of dispelling. Those will work. Slow, remove. I think we'll get rid of one slow. And put down a... Spell deflection. We got, already have one. Hold undead. Love to think that would work, but I'm almost certain it won't. Protection from cold. We'll just be immune to all elemental effects. That will make us much, much safer. Web is unlikely to keep us safe. I think we probably should have more mirror images anyway. And um, we have the ring of invisibility, which has only one charge. We'll grab one of those. In fact, invisibility is going to save us more than mirror image. So I might grab another one. If it, anything is going to land, it's magic missile. Just the number, the sheer number of hits. If he has like sort of 90% magic resistance, then there's a chance one will get through. But generally, I'd regard most of what we have here is not really going to be helping us. Uh, we'll grab one of each. Okay. That's the best we can do. Uh, this is a terrifyingly small spell load for what we're doing. So I'll rest and then we'll go hunt the lich. Thanks for watching and I will see you for the next one, which if I'm being perfectly honest, I'm going to play right now. Catch you later.